Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Nuts. Today I'm going to continue to work on my CyberArk lab. So this is my CyberArk lab environment. I have Vault on IP 192.168.2.21 has been set up and the PVWA, CPM, PSM all installed on one server 192.168.2.23. I have another P PVWA, CPM, PSM second server. The infrastructure for domain controller, email server, syslog, NTP, CA server, eventually all will be on one DC01, 192.168.2.11. So all those three servers has been set up properly and working fine. So now in today's, Topic I'm going to talk about uh, configuring CyberArk to integrate with AD, configuring SMTP, configuring NTP, etc. So let's start with it. Let's log in with CyberArk. Twitter. In now your supervisioning tablet is so LDAP integration. You can start from here, or you can start from administration tab. There's a setup wizard. You can set up LDAP integration or email notification. So either way works for LDAP integration. Let's do new domain. My domain name. So here, choose using secure connection. That will be our next step. But now we are not using secure connection. Find the username. We're gonna use an administrator. Find the user password and domain-based contact. So the file. They found one domain controller, which is exactly what we are having. So choose it, connect. So next step is to create a directory mapping, which depends on your group settings for what that means, safe managers, auditors, users. So we can start with that, cyber. Check what that means. So those groups you already defined in your AD account, AD uh, directory. So now you just need to type the name and they will automatically search it for you. You can see the users on the, this group. Auditors, users. So here is a summary for all your settings. Once you did this LDAP integration, you can log out and using your LDAP account to log in from here. So this is basic LDAP integration setup. Our next step is gonna to do SMTP integration. Um, we already set up LDAP integration, so we can use LDAP count volta domain zero one to log in. So as you can see, we already have this bind CyberArk bind user account created, which we use to to the LDAP integration. That's our first account under the Vault Admin 01, which is on the Vault Admin group. Um, as we said before, we have uh, configuration options here to, to set up a wizard to start our email notification. As you can see, LDAP integration has been grayed out which we already finished that. If you want to make changes, you need to go to here and uh, for LDAP integration. We can go to the configuration options. 
there's an LDAP integration here. So you should be able to see your directories and you should be see all your settings are here. At the account and the password, if your find the user password has been changed, that's a good place to set up these changes. So we're gonna do SMTP integration, which is um, email notification. So SMTP address based on our diagram, that is our DC server. So we can directly put the IP address. Send the email, you can say CyberArk. Send the design cyber arc notification recipients domains. So we have default PVWA URL to finish. So email notification setup can be So do you want to send the test email? So it will be sent to all the main groups. So now we can uh, test that. Once you have set up your email notification, the setup wizard is gonna grade out your email notification settings. So you won't be able to continue to change your email notification. But what you can do is you can go back to administration configuration options and the notification settings. You can go to even the notification engine send the method to change the server name from what we set up as you know, 192.168.2.11 to 1.1.1. Once you put the list IP address in to the server settings, your setup wizard is gonna let you to reconfigure your email notification here. So you can do whatever you need to correct your settings. You can do it from here now. So let's uh, now test the email gonna send out. You also can verify that configuration from this setting again. The setting server has changed back to 192.168.2.11. That's basic how you integrate your SMTP server for CyberArk. Mm -hmm.